never done the mating dance before, but I always dreamed it would be with you. Dreams do come true, sweetheart. Dreams do come true. Uh, Caroline? Oh, wow, what a dream. Uh, uh, what's going on? Hey, relax, Scooter. It was bound to happen sooner or later. What? It was a mating dance dream, Sinclair. Just your body's way of telling you you're ready. Ready for what? The big one. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Listen, you gotta promise me you're not gonna tell anybody. You've reached a sensitive stage in your adolescent development. Nature's drums are pounding on a beat you cannot ignore. Yeah, well, maybe I can't do anything about my dreams, but at least I can keep control of myself while I'm awake. Good luck, Scooter. Huh? Hi. Hi, Robbie. Huh? Oh, oh, uh, Caroline, huh? Hello. That lab report was really tough, don't you think? Oh, the lab? Well, uh, no, I didn't have any problems, but, uh... Robbie, what are you doing? What? Oh, uh, nothing. I just, uh... What? Whoa, hey. oh, look, everybody. Oh, I'm Claire's doing the main dance. What's going on here? Oh, oh, my goodness. This is terrible. Somebody call the nurse. Oh, Robbie, oh. look. Oh. What's going on? Don't worry, Sinclair. I don't think anybody noticed. Stay tuned after Father Knows Nothing for the premiere of Dad's a Big Moron. And then at 9, it's more hijinks with Simpleton Father, followed by Brain Dead Dad. This is why TV stinks. One show's a hit, they make 50 more like it with the same characters and the same premise. Don't hit a cow, man. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Charlene. Hello, Hello Robbie. Oh. Oh. Chicken, 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 chicken. Looks like somebody had a bad day. Well, not me. Today was the best day of my whole life, and I have Robbie to thank. It's <laughs> nice to see you two getting along. What did Robbie do for you? Oh, he only made a total geek of himself. He did the mating dance in front of the whole school. <laughs> Earl, Robbie's been doing the mating dance. Yes, friend. I've been expecting this for quite some time now. Earl, he's just a boy. <laughs> Hardly, my dear. Why, when a young male reaches a certain age, his body goes through special changes. He's bound to be frightened. He's bound to be confused. And as responsible parents, there's only one thing to do. Ignore it. Huh? Oh, this must be a difficult time for Robbie. I would think he'd want to talk about it. Oh, and you'd be wrong. The only thing worse than doing the mating dance in front of everybody is having to talk about it with your family. I think the boy has suffered enough. But, Daddy, what's the point of having a brother with a really embarrassing problem if you can't torment him about it? No, no, we'll have none of that. And that goes for everybody. Boy. We're going to have a normal family dinner, Sorry. and nobody's going to talk about you know what. Yeah. yeah. What can't we talk about? What, well, what, what? Uh-uh. Don't anybody tell him. Tell me, tell me, tell me! No, all right. No one can talk about, uh, spoons. Spoons! <laughs> I get spoons! Spoons, spoons, spoons! I think we know who won that little battle of wits. Hi, Robbie. Ooh. How are you feeling? Nah. Fine. Nah. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Hi. What were you just talking about? Uh, 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 Food! Uh, uh, yes, that's um, right, son. Uh, we were just discussing flatware. Charlene. Yeah? Tell us some more about that lovely party dress you're so interested in. What dress? That's the one. Well, I did see a really nice dress the other day. It was on Caroline Foxworth. Uh, 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 oh, I don't think I've met her, have I, Charlene? Oh, you wouldn't forget her, Mom. She's the girl with the really shapely tail. Charlene, I think there are other topics we can discuss. Friend, where did you buy these delightful napkins? You know, I think her tail has really filled out since seventh grade. Have you noticed how large it is? Mm. I don't know how she sits down. Uh, uh, whoa. Uh, Hello. Uh, whoa. Oh, there's so absorbent. Uh, and this lovely floral print complements any place, I think. Uh, <laughs> Robbie, are you all right? I'm all, I'm all okay. Everybody should leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> Another emotional minefield successfully navigated. Earl, that was awful. <laughs> Charlene, take your little brother upstairs right now. Oh. What are you going to talk about? Spoons. Ooh. <laughs> Spoons. Oh, Earl, someone has got to talk to that boy about mating. No, they don't. Then how is he going to learn about it? I don't know. We just will. Somewhere, somehow, every male learns. It's a complex system involving rumors, adult novelty items, and limericks. That's ridiculous. No, it's not. That's how I learned about mating. And I'm pretty darn competent in that department, as I'm sure you will agree. Right, Fran? Franny? Pudding? 
someone has got to talk to the boy about mating. And it occurred to me that maybe you could teach a class right here at school about the mating dance. I assure you, Mrs. Sinclair, the mating dance is the last thing we should be teaching kids. This school is always operated under the guiding principle that if we don't teach it, they won't do it. But what if some of them do it anyway? Let them. Nobody can blame us. How can you be so irresponsible? I'm not listening. I'm not listening. La, 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 la. Mr. I'm Pullman. Not listening. What? A lot of kids are experimenting with the mating dance without understanding that it's not just a physical act. There are consequences to what they do. And maybe the school should help teach them that. Mrs. Sinclair, this idea of yours is simply impossible. And even if I agreed with you, where would we even find somebody willing to discuss such a filthy topic with our children? Good morning, class. Today, we are going to learn about something very sensitive and unsavory, the mating dance. Oh, this is going to be rough. You'll be relieved to learn that all of your teachers were much too respectable and uptight to involve themselves with such filth. So, we have brought in an outside speaker. Hi, everybody. Huh? I'm Mrs. Sinclair. But you can call me Fran. Or Mom. <laughs> now, I want to make it clear right from the start that I am not advocating that you youngsters engage in the mating dance. Personally, I believe that the mating dance is most appropriate within the confines of a loving, monogamous relationship, preferably marriage. Mm -hmm. Of course, marriage is a few years away for you, and right now it's very frustrating, as I'm well aware. <laughs> oh, say the word, I'll pull the fire alarm. In putting together this class, I couldn't find any suitable reading material. However, the school has provided us this instructional film from the Navy. Could someone get the light? <laughs> Pangeo Department of the Navy presents an instructional film on naval hygiene. Anchors away or down periscope. Hey, sailor, going ashore? Oh, you betcha, sir. I want to hit one of the local dance halls. I hear the native girls do the hoochie-coochie something wild. Come and... about there, Swabby. Huh? Don't you know those Walty Matildas can give you a mating dance-related injury? Nah, that would never happen to me. That would happen to the other guy. That's where you're wrong, sailor. Huh? Mating dance-related injuries have reached epidemic proportions, mm. and you could be next. This is valuable information. Tell me more. Well, we all know that the mating dance is most appropriate within the confines of a loving, monogamous relationship, preferably marriage. But if you are going to dance with a stranger, always use protective footwear. Oh, come on, Captain. I don't have to worry. Nothing's gonna happen to me. <laughs> That's what Ensign Doyle thought. Huh? Hey, Doyle, come here and show this fellow what a mating dance-related injury looks like if left untreated. <laughs> oh, dear. I had no idea it was that kind of film. I hoped it would give a little more information about the mating dance itself. Well, I guess that's up to me. All right. Here it is. Oh, my gosh. She's going to show us the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Bada-bing. Now, this is the physical act itself, but more important are the feelings that are such an essential part of the mating experience. Each of you has very deep and personal thoughts that you may be confused about, and it may help to talk about them right here in class. Now, who wants to begin? Uh, no. Mm. Let's start with... No! <laughs> Earl, you wouldn't believe how bright the kids in Robbie's class are. They ask so many interesting questions. <clears throat> Although, Robbie, you were rather quiet. Was it embarrassing for you to have me teaching the class? Yeah. Now that you mention it, today was probably the single most excruciatingly painful, humiliating day I will ever experience for the rest of my life. But wait! You're coming back tomorrow! Ha! You show up every day! <laughs> Earl, what are you laughing at? Friend, dear, I'm going to try to be big about this. You thought we should bring Robbie's problem out in the open. I said we should leave it buried where it could do no harm. Now let's consider for a moment who might be incredibly right. And who might be wrong, wrong, wrong? Don't you dare get smug with me at a time like this. Smug? What? I wonder if I should go and talk to him. Friend, Han, see if you can follow this. Talking? Bad. Not talking? Not bad. And to ensure we do no further damage as parents, I suggest we sit right here and watch some good, non-confrontational, domestic comedy. Yeah. And now, back to totally ineffectual dad. <laughs> Honey, I'm concerned about Eddie. He seems to be on fire. Shouldn't we talk to him? I don't know, sweetheart. What if I say the wrong thing? I gotta stop thinking about this stuff. I, I, I gotta clear my mind. Hello, and welcome to the 12th Annual...
Festival, Southern Pangea Flower Show. And wet teacher contest! We got uh, Girls, 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 girls! Hi, I'm Mandy. I love to do the mating dance, but I'm all alone. Why don't you call me? And we could do the mating dance together discreetly over the phone. Nothing to be embarrassed about. It's perfectly natural what um, what uh, you're doing. And she walks in right then. It was awful. Ouch. Well, that's it. I'm never going home again. From now on, I'll just live here at school. Ah, you've obviously thought this out carefully. Um, but if I might inject a moment of reality... What? It won't help. There are hormonal pressures of a frightening magnitude welling up inside of you. You try to ignore them, Duffy could explode. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, you got a choice. You can either wait a few years till you find the right girl, win a heart, forge a loving, sacred bond. That'll last a lifetime. Or you can cha-cha tonight for a dollar a day. It's been hours, and we don't even know where he is. I've never seen him so angry. He's never spoken to me that way. That's because you spoke to him. You speak, you get spoken to. The only reason he's out there at all is because you didn't do your job as a father. There are some things a boy can't discuss with his mother. He needed you, and you let him down. Huh? Oh. 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 Huh? Oh, 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 honey. Eddie tried to put out the fire himself by jumping in the river. Oh. See? It's best we don't interfere with these matters. But he doesn't know how to swim. You never taught him. Let him learn to swim the way I did, in the street. <gasps> Tune in next week for the hilarious funeral episode on Totally Ineffectual Dad. Fran, I'm just going out for a little walk. <laughs> so, Sayla, you interested in the mating dance? Well, sure. <laughs> what will $4 buy me? So, I'll get you a tango. Ooh. But I don't dip. Are you sure we should be doing this? Hey, Scooter, there is nothing wrong with taking one of life's most personal and intimate experiences and putting a cash value on it. That's what separates us from the animals. Fine, fine. I just want to get this over with. I don't want to be led around by my feet the rest of my life. Huh? Oh, boy. Hi, boy. Ah, oh, hello, ladies. Hi. Hey, hey, I want you to meet a very good friend of mine, uh, Rob. Jones. Robbie Jones, uh, from out of town? I don't even live around here. I'm from far away. We don't even have a phone. <laughs> well, hey, sweet pea, you come with me. Mama's going to help you break in those new shoes. <laughs> Spike, help. Good luck, Mr. Jones. Don't trip on your laces. Uh, 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 so, uh, gee, I didn't even know about this place. Uh, has it been here long? Well, actually, it just opened. This is the world's youngest profession. Oh. So, what do you have in mind, sweetness? We can do you a nice fox trot or go twirling around the room. Uh, gee, I, I don't know. I'm, whatever you think. I, I, I guess I'll have the usual. Why, yeah. bless your heart. This is your first dance, isn't it, darling? Hey, no, no, no way. I do this a lot. Now, don't worry, honey. We'll take it nice and slow. Okay. Ali, oh, stay with me, sweetheart. You know step. And punch together and five. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Together and lots. Honey, enjoy yourself. You young boys dance too fast. And from together. No, no, I can't. I can't, I can't do this. Sorry if I've wasted your time. Look, this just doesn't feel right. Well, I never thought about it before. Maybe you got a point. Um, the mating dance is most appropriate within the confines of a loving, monogamous relationship, preferably marriage. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, no. You've given me something to think about. Number 34! <laughs> Robbie? Huh? Dad? Uh, what are you doing here? I came to talk with you. Father the son. How'd you know where I was? Oh, please. Give your old man a little credit. <sighs> Look, I just want you to know that you're not alone. And I want to share the wisdom and experience that I've gained over many years about the mating dance. At this point, I could use some advice. All right. I once saw this film in the Navy. Seen I... it. Oh, did it help? No. No, me neither. 
Boy, life was easier in the old days. By the time your son got to the age where he was asking difficult questions, you were dead. Mercifully killed by something way bigger than you. What happened to their sons then? Didn't much matter. They'd be dead soon, too. Boy, those were the days. But, but what am I supposed to do today, Dad? I keep wanting to dance, but everybody tells me I'm not supposed to. That's because modern society is determined as a proper time and place. I know, so... I know. The mating dance is most appropriate within the confines of a loving, monogamous relationship, preferably marriage. Yeah, sometimes not even then. The whole thing's pretty confusing, son. That's why I wasn't real enthusiastic about talking with you. Don't tell your mom. But I'm not sure I have all the answers either. That's all right, Dad. It's just good to know I'm not alone. Look, you're dancing because your body's ready for something your mind's not ready to handle yet. And won't be for a good many years. Years? So what do I do in the meantime? In a word, sports. Get a ball or rackets and pads and run around the track that you're so exhausted you can't possibly think of anything else. Really? Believe me, it works. Now, come on, son. Let's go home. Okay. Oh, Dad, I was wondering, do females go through the same things we do? Well, now, your mother's a bit more knowledgeable in that area, and I know she'd like to talk with you. Yeah, okay. Because I know you and your mom had a little run-in, but she's pretty smart, and she can give you some good tips. And if she does... Yeah? Pass them along to me. <laughs> come on, Dad. <laughs>